Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing another hair tutorial and basically there's so many tutorials, let me fix that, <clears throat> there's so many tutorials like this on YouTube, but I'm going to do a different one because I find this one's a lot simpler than the ones that I watch. I kind of made this one on my own, um, it was just like experimenting one day and um, kind of came up with this. Basically what it is is to get waves, basically, like pretty waves, with braids, with typical braids, basically. And you're probably thinking, yeah, wet hair, braids, that's it. But there's also a little bit of product that you need to put in um, and stuff. Alright, so I've already done this side, oh, little battery. <laughs> so basically I've already done this side because, um, I'm going to show you on this side so this video is not long because I know my videos are always long and I'm sure you guys get bored with me talking and stuff. Definitely like the Coles videos I just uploaded. <laughs> and by the, um, <clears throat> anyway, so first thing you want to do is get um, some mousse. I just use the suave volumizing mousse. Just use any mousse you have. It doesn't really matter. It's just for some extra hold. And just um, put it through your hair a little bit. I've already done that, so... Like, pretend I have mousse in my hand and I'm, you know, rub it in. And, uh, just kind of put it in here. And then go like this. So it's, like, all kind of separated and not, like, in big clumps, if you know what, if you know what I mean. Like, chunk, chunk, yeah. So it's not like that. So if you want to just split it up. And you don't even have to scrunch. Just for some extra hold. Okay. So to get into the braiding, you are going to need four ponytail holders. But since I already did this side, I only have two left. And I'm going to do two braids on this side. Oh, and the reason why I have, I have, um, I have really long bangs, like, this is how long my bangs actually are. Like, except for, like, a few pieces that are in there, but my bangs are really long. And I always like to do a little poof like that, um, in the morning, but, and I do put product, um, in there. Um, and, uh, um, now after the braids, but, and it's still a lot more straighter than the things, but it turns out fine in the end, you'll see. Alright, so what you want to do first is split your hair into two pretty equal sections, which this is pretty equal. And just do a standard braid. If you don't know how to regularly, regularly braid hair, then um, uh, then um, there's a bunch of videos on how to regularly, regularly, I can't say that word, regularly braid hair. Um, oh, these are not equal, um, sorry. But I'm pretty sure most of you would know how to regularly, regularly, just a normal braid. I'm sure you guys know how to do a normal braid. How about that? And just braid it and try to do a tight braid unless, unless you want um, loose waves. Then do like a fatter braid. Or if you want looser waves, maybe do just do two braids. Like one braid on one side and then another braid on the other side. And just do like two braids like pigtail like pigtails but I like mine a little bit more tight so I like to do two and the tight braids and you're just gonna tie it off obviously and yeah just tie it off and if you don't like if you think it's too loose or too tight you could always redo it it's fine um and if you have a lot of end like, this is why I like doing it like this. Like, if you have a lot of end, I don't know why, but for me, when I take them out in the morning, they, they just look perfectly fine. I, I usually, like, end up scrunching them up a little bit, so it kind of, like, blends in a little bit. But if you have a lot of end showing, maybe you want to try to redo the braid because it will still be noticeable. So, can do that. And then I'm just going to do the second braid, obviously. And the, I can never get equal sections when I do this. Especially when I try to make a video. Alright, these are fine. And if you miss a few pieces of hair, that's fine. Like, you can always scrunch those up. Like, in the back or something, if you miss a piece of hair. Um, yeah, you can always just scrunch that up at the end. It turns out fine. But if you miss, like, a whole chunk, then try to add that in with, with one of the braids or something. Now, I have really, like, I have a lot of layer to my hair, so, um... I really have to actually, like, I have to stop early at my braids because, like, the layer, like, I start running out of hair on one, like, piece. 
like when I do the braid, if you know what I mean. I don't know. So I have to like stop early. Especially if you have layer. Okay. Now once you have your four braids in, and if you have bangs and you want the little poof, you should probably do this. And just um, ponytail them up or whatever. Um, what you're going to do is, I need to get the same. Um, okay. Where's the, okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. First, what you want to do, once again, is get your mousse again and put, shake it up again, and put um, about, oh, that might be a little much, but put about that much in. Well, you don't have to, but that actually might be a little too much, but whatever. And just put a little bit in each braid. Like, squish it in there. Okay. Then go again. That's enough. Because <laughs> you don't want this to be, like, crispy. Like, it always kind of turns out crispy for me, but I'm always fine with it because it ends up loosening it up. And it's always fine then. And then I just want to rinse my hands off, obviously. Still going to be a long video, but who cares? Just wipe my hands off. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, um, I don't usually wait for the mousse to dry it. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I don't know. But next what you want to do, um, if you don't have this, there's a bunch of, um, sprays from different, like, companies that you can get. It's basically just, um, like a wave enhancing spray. This is just Aussie, um, sprunch spray. I don't know why they call it sprunch. It's just what they call it. You're just going to spray a few squirts of that into your braids. And I will get the backs of them eventually. Yeah, I spray a lot in. Okay. And I like to do, I don't know why, I just like, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. And then, what you're going to do is take, um, I really like this hairspray. This is the Suave, um, Touchable Finish Hairspray. And it's an ultra fine mist, if you can see that. And, uh, it smells like berries, I don't know. Just going to stray quickly. You don't want a lot of this because it's definitely going to make your hair crusty or crispy or eh. Oh, I got my shirt. <laughs> or crispy or whatever. Okay. And that's basically, wait, um, and then you're going to spray a little bit of this on the, on the poof if you're going to do the poof thing, which I always do. Um, and then what I do for this is I actually put just a tad bit Like, not even a lot. Like, that's not a lot at all. And I just kind of scrunch this up. And my hair's naturally wavy, so it already has some of that natural wave and stuff. Sorry, you can't see. Just take... At least that's why I like to do. Just give it a little bit of a softer wave. Wipe the hands off again. And basically, that's it. And you want to put... Don't put any more mousse in because the mousse you're done with. Don't put any more mousse in your braids, but every so often, like maybe every hour, you want to put a little more, um, sprunch spray in. And if you want, put a little bit more hairspray in, but don't put a lot more in, because that's going to make your hair really crispy. So, basically, yeah, and then you sleep in them. And then, um, sorry. And basically when you wake up in the morning, you're just, well, yeah. I'll show you, because there's going to be a part two to this. I'm going to make a part two in the morning. And, yeah, hopefully I remember. I will. <laughs> okay, so, oh, such a long video. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, so, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you look out for part two. Um, so, yeah.